Hi everyone. Um, this is uh, a little thing for your imagination and it relates to a thing called the biotic pump theory. So uh, about nine years ago a pair of Russian physicists uh, suggested that the Amazon rainforest uh, creates, uh, what does it do, it causes enhanced um, transpiration and precipitation so it speeds up the water cycle so that there's lots and lots of clouds and the uh, enhanced water cycle uh, causes a low pressure zone over the Amazon rainforest and this sucks in water and meteorologists immediately said actually uh, this is crap because uh, precipitation causes high pressure so they totally uh, rejected the theory and the cost. Uh, they um, it got peer review was refused for years and years and finally got published. But anyway, I would like to have you think about it because this is complicated stuff and it needs uh, uh, they're into mathematics, which is incredibly hard to understand in this case. So I'm going to show you a simple way of thinking about it, which would suggest that the two Russian physicists are very uh, right all along. So imagine a fleet of space, or uh, what am I saying, airships. So they're uh, dirigibles like, uh, say, the Hindelberg and those 1930s, 1920s airships that were very popular for years and years and years. So filled with hydrogen filled with hydrogen and imagine a fleet of them across the Amazon. So they're at 10,000 feet. Now Alien High Command says uh, I want all you guys to fly at 5,000 feet. So there's maybe you know a couple of million of these space or um, airships over the Amazon. So they're at 10,000 feet they're just floating there. Flying at 5,000 feet they have to turn on, they have a propeller a propeller in the middle, they're donut shaped, propeller in the middle and go down to 5,000 feet. So they're lighter than the air at 5,000 feet, they have to have the propeller going at half speed or quarter speed or whatever to stay at 5,000 feet. And at 5,000 feet, so it's going, it's to keep them at 5,000 feet, it's sucking air up through it and um, sucking air up through it. So what happens to the air pressure down here? They're all sucking air up so the air pressure down here has to go down. It has to go to low pressure or low air pressure. So lower pressure down here and uh, now we're going to uh, imagine again. So clouds, um, uh, cumulus clouds are not shaped like donuts but what they do have is a central area of upward moving air. So I would suggest to you and suggest to the meteorologists that, who have opposed that theory that if they consider a cloud to be the same sort of thing as these airships, a lighter than air, or sorry, um, yeah, lighter than air vehicle, which is is using the condensation of water vapor into droplets to stay lower than it should be, I think because the cloud is doing exactly the same thing to the air as these uh, hypothetical um, uh, alien air, uh, airships are doing. So I think this, if we, this is a testable theory because they can probably weigh the cloud um, and figure out how much higher in the air it should be if it wasn't sending up this updraft all the time. Anyway, uh, this is my contribution to biotic pump theory. 
I don't know if uh, the two Russian physicists are right or wrong in their interpretation, but uh, I think we have to accept that um, uh, clouds are going to lower the air pressure in the Amazon. Thank you very much. Thank you.